At their core, Yamaha is a motor company. So no matter what vehicle I ride, if it's got a tuning fork emblem on it, I know it's gonna over deliver in the motor department. But what about the rest of the vehicle and how it fits in its category? While the Vector has called a few different chassis home over the years, it now resides in the previous version of the Apex called the Delta Box 3, a very advanced frame that displays rider forward ergos and perches the rider high up in an attack position, while also allowing for easy sit to stand transitions. But the real question is, does it deliver on those claims? The old Apex was a solid design when it was first produced. However, now it starts to feel a little more traditional. And by that, I mean that the ergonomics the rider experiences are similar to that of a mid to late 2000s snowmobile. Before you assume I don't like the Vector, you need to hear me out. While the riding position on this sled is old school in comparison to the rest of the market, it's still very technology laden and able to deliver impressive ride quality with traditional riding ergonomics. And that's becoming harder to find these days where lightweight minimalist has taken over. Due to the nature of the 1049cc triple cylinder four stroke, it's really hard to position riders up and on top of this motor. So Yamaha engineers had to figure out a way to deliver solid handling with a larger than two stroke motor package. While certain days I like to go rip the ditches and jump everything in sight, the Vector isn't gonna be the sled that I do that on. However, when the day's ride is long and cold and I'm looking for comfort both through ride quality and evading the elements, I'll be on the Vector 10 times out of 10 because I truly enjoy traditional riding ergos when I'm out cruising. Our industry's been focused on lightweight and rider forward ergos since Skidoo brought out the Rev, but I'm here to tell you that it is not the only way and Yamaha proves that point with a quality snowmobile like the RS Vector. The proper engine package with a finely tuned suspension and chassis will make up for weight almost every time in the trail touring category. Because let's face it, not every rider is looking to be the next X Game freestyle star and rip the approaches. Some of us want reliability, resale value, comfort, and four-stroke perfection. The Vector is all that and power steering. Power steering is a love-hate for me. I really enjoy the way that it works, but I'm not so thrilled that it's the only way you can purchase your Vector. Because let's all be honest, there's other lighter and cheaper ways to resolve the darting issue. While the Vector doesn't have a severe darting issue, it is still apparent. And during my time riding, I've wondered if the new Yamaha Tuner Ski featuring double carbides linked with the reduced weight of an EPS deleted Vector would produce similar, if not better, front end handling and reduce darting. For sure, it would cost significantly less and still be a great sled. And who knows, maybe this will be an entry-level version of the Vector in the near future. While I'm on my gripe list, I might as well talk about the other area of this sled I believe that Yamaha needs to take a look at, and that is out back with the Monoshock 2 rear skid. While I do enjoy the ride quality of the Monoshock 2 CK skid, I believe the 2011 Vector GT had the better setup with the KYB Remote Adjust Monoshock 2 RA. The ease of on-the-fly adjustment and toolless use was beautiful. I mean, this was something we all enjoyed and felt the benefits of. The new CK skid can still be adjusted, but it's a pain to get under the sled and play with preload when the threaded body has iced up. While I have had a few complaints about the Vector, the truth is it's a great sled. It's got incredible torque and a solid motor package, and it carves corners with ease. And yes, at the end of the day, power steering truly does leave you feeling more limber. As I stated last year when I tested the Apex, if you want a featherweight sled, you're probably not looking at a four-stroke. If you want ultimate durability and resale that will impress, you're probably not looking at a two-stroke. And if you want the best fit and finish in the business with impressive ride quality, comfortable ergonomics, and loads of technology focused on improving your snowmobile experience, you needn't look any further than the Yamaha Vector. While it's made many progressions over the years, Yamaha has tweaked the Vector into what I believe is the best variation yet, rich with technology that you wouldn't expect to find in the mid-horsepower category. 